There are seven main islands in the Canaries, and in this film you'll get to see five of them. The two that are closest to Africa, Fuerteventura and Lanzarote, are quite barren, almost treeless, but great for desert birds. He said scan from the main road. Well, I've done just that, and there's a hubara busted right here amongst these bushes. This bird is walking right past me as I sit in the car with the window down and the lens sticking out. The plane is good for other desert birds too, like cream coloured coursers. We get even closer to some stone curlews. Well this has been described as probably the best site for black-bellied sand grouse in the whole of the western Palearctic. The more westerly islands such as Tenerife and La Palma or at least partially cloaked in woodland, which supports a quite different range of species. Like the chiffchaff, it also has a unique song, and so is regarded by many as a separate species, Tenerife Robin. I've never had views like this of laurel pigeons of any kind, but this, these bowls pigeons are just fantastic. And some of the most important birds of the area are to be found in the surrounding seas. There's one. It's one of the storm petrels, a Madeiran. In slow motion you can see the ID features more clearly. These waters play a major role in defining the bird life of the Canaries because they isolate the islands from the mainland of Africa. That explains why the bird life here is very special. But the key features are the pale eyebrow, white throat and relatively long bill. Get birds coming down to drink regularly. It could be blue chaffinch, great spotted woodpecker, canary, and all you need to do is stand in the shade and enjoy the show.